Hello everybody, it is me, the Enderman here, and today we'll be looking at a multiple item vending machine in Minecraft 1.7. It also works on 1.8 as far as I know. Um, if you want to see it here, you know, you can have it as, uh, as infinitely expandable as you want it to be. But uh, I just put six here for, you know, just to show it off. So, if you want to just, it's, I'm using potions, you can use any uh, item you want, but uh, that's how it works. I put a gold ingot in here. And it comes out here, you just like it kind of takes a minute because it has to go through the pretty big system. It's uh, very compact. Uh, the whole design is uh, 8 by 8 by 11. Without, if you just want a chest here and don't want a uh, like little uh, little uh, conveyor belt thing out for here. But also, if you don't put the right payment in, it just comes back out here. So, with that being said, I'm going to give a full tutorial for this. Um, so, let's start that tutorial up, shall we? Alright, start out here, you put a double chest here. This is going to be a payment chest. I am putting six uh six different types of items in here just uh for this you can make it as infinitely expandable as you want. Uh six, you put a line facing into the chest, you put a line facing into all those guys. Uh, I fucked it up. Now you take this, you take uh put a preparator by all of these. Uh line of redstone dust here, redstone pizza there, put it going into a block with a redstone torch on the back. Alright, so repeat this hopper pattern down the line. You need to go three up, one to the side, one up, and then one to this chest right here which you place, which is going to be the output chest, and there you go. Alright, so after that you're going to place a block there, block there, come under here like block there, comparator, two redstone dust, come back under it, put that there, put a block there, redstone repeater, block coming out of the redstone repeater, and put a redstone torch there and repeat that down the line of all the hoppers. Alright, so after all that is done, you want to come up to back to the back of it. Put these there, put a line of blocks right there. Redstone torch coming out of these. Another line of block on top of these torches. Torch straight up on these. Another block. I gotta go over there for that. Another block right here. Coming out from these on the side. Then you put another one up like this again. Again, come out the side here with torches. Uh, and stack the last uh, row of blocks on top of these torches. Then on top of these, you want to put torches in the off position. You want to get droppers coming out of uh, these torches. And uh, that should be good for now. Alright, so uh, I made a mistake by building this. I had these, this row hopper facing down into the hopper below them. You have to have each hopper facing into the comparator next to it, or else the the you know sorting system won't work. Uh, if you don't know already, this is just a you know like a run of the mill regular type of item sorter. But uh, besides that, I have these working like this. So now you want to come out of there, out of this, with a two hoppers going pointing into each other. Uh, come out like that against that dropper, and you just want to roll droppers coming out of these guys facing down toward the last hopper on the right, coming into that. So now, you want to make your uh, insert payment chest. You want to wrap that around here, put that there, and now you're basically done. If you want some extra storage, you do this. Um, I could put a chest, uh, trap chest, chest, trap chest um, thing, but I it tends to you know. Uh, when you open a trap chest, it tends to uh, uh, dispense a item out of the dropper, so it's just kind of, uh, kind of, you know, inconvenient. So I put those there, and now you're you're basically done. So if I want want to demonstrate this, I have to demonstrate it once for myself. Put that there. So I have gold in the second first second hopper. I have gold in that second hopper. Uh, I had I think I had iron running out of this one. I think I had iron running out of that. So if I didn't explain that already, uh, this these uh, emeralds will be power this dropper, this iron in there will power the second one, and the uh, the diamonds in there power the third one. It's on the same, the payment um, option is on the same X or Z axis as the dropper above them is, so it'll uh, it'll work that way. So now if you want to do this, you put a uh, an iron in there, it'll come out from gold here, give it a minute, it takes a minute sometimes, because it's such a big thing. Uh, there you go. Now, if you put a item in there that is not a payment option, it will also come come out this way. See there you are there. So yeah, um, if you want to try it one more time over here, 
I have potions lined up in this one. So, um, I have fire as potion in the second one, and this one is gold too, so I'll just do that. So, you, you put that there, put this there, and it'll come out as a fire as potion. Uh, it's pretty cool of a server if you can protect it, as you see that come out there. And if you don't want a chest, you want that conveyor thing, uh, it's pretty simple. This is it. It's a uh, comparator out of the, uh, the, uh, the dropper with a potion coming out of there with the rest small redstone clock coming back up to the uh, the hopper do not put the redstone block going into uh, going into here though like this uh, warning because it will uh, power this hopper and nothing will come out of the hopper so just put that there like that and uh, you should be good so um, thanks for watching guys uh, please like favorite and subscribe it really helps me out and I'll see you in the next video